you take your seats, please? Good morning. Welcome to the Santa Rosa County Board of County Commissioners regular meeting. Today is Thursday, February the 12th, 2015. It's 9 o'clock a.m. And we are here at the beautiful Tiger Point Community Center. We appreciate being in the south end of the county. At this time, we're going to ask uh, Pastor Clint Jernigan, who is Director of Youth in Soundside Campus, Gulf Breeze United Methodist Church, to come and lead us in prayer, followed by our Pledge of Allegiance by Commissioner Lane Lynchard. Please stand. It's currently chaos. Give us courage to boldly stand up and do the right thing, even when it's not popular. Give us strength to gently and firmly see our tasks through to the end. Give us leadership to move people by our own examples from where they are to where you're calling them to be. Give us unity so that we may set our own agendas aside and accomplish even greater things for the benefit of all. Give us peace that transcends even our own understanding and allows us to rest at the end of the day knowing that we did all we can and that you are ultimately in control. Let us now serve our community and our own families out of selflessness, humility, and love. We ask all these things in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, Commissioner Lynchard. Since we're in District 5, uh, Tiger Point, Commissioner Lynchard, would you like to make a few comments? Well, thank you, everyone, for coming out this morning. We always seem to have a, a really good attendance when we come down here to the uh, south end of the county for our regular quarterly meeting. A reminder that the rezoning hearing tonight at 6 o'clock will also be here in the Tiger Point Community Center. So, And uh, for anyone who doesn't know, restrooms are inside and outside in the concession area. Thank you, Commissioner Lynchard. <clears throat> this time we'll get into the agenda. Uh, approval of the minutes of the January 8, 2015 regular meeting in the January 22nd, 2015 regular and special meetings. I would move approval of those minutes without objection. Hearing none, they pass. This time we will approve the agenda for today and I'll start with my far right with Commissioner J. O. Williamson. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I have no additional items this morning. Thank you, Commissioner Cole. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, in lieu that I will not be attending the next meetings, uh, I'll be in Washington at NACO. I'd like to let the board know that I will be asking Mr. Walker to put on that those meetings uh, an applicant for uh, my misposition in planning and zoning, and that's going to be Scott Camp. And uh, just ask that that not be voted on or looked at today, but but uh, everybody be aware of it. Put it on the next agenda. Very good, Mr. Rob Williamson. No changes, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Commissioner Lynchard. No changes, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Walker. Mr. Chairman, if I could just note that uh, since the Monday agenda, uh, we added, I believe, the last uh, three three events that had come in. They're, they're on there. There's the the uh, one one wounded warriors project, and then two two runs. Each of these are are an annual event that had been done in the past, and 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 we would recommend go ahead and approve these, and 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 they can start their planning on that. So they came in since the uh, meeting Monday. It's just, I guess it's just that season, so. That's 14, 15, and 16? That's correct. Okay. Just let it, let it show that th these are new since Monday. Mr. Andrews? Nothing. Mr. Blaylock? No item. Ms. Bell? No items. Okay. Acknowledging the three add-ons since Monday, we will approve the agenda at this time without objection. Here none, it passes. We have one proclamation today. It is Hazardous Material Awareness Week. And we have with us our own Steve Mewborn, Logistics Chief, Hazmat Technician, accepting the proclamation. Steve, if you'll come 
to the podium, please. On behalf of our board, I'll read the proclamation. County of Santa Rosa proclamation, whereas the safe use of hazardous material is essential to citizens, business, industry, and local governments to maintain economic stability and the public health, and whereas the District 1 Local Emergency Planning Committee, LEPC, recognizes the importance of protecting our communities from both accidental and deliberate releases of hazardous materials and carrying out state and federal duties to publicly promote statewide hazardous material safety and whereas it is essential to increase community preparedness so that both public sector and private sector employees know how to safely protect themselves and those for whom they are responsible during an accidental or deliberate release of hazardous materials and whereas the LEPC offers awareness level hazardous material emergency response training for firefighters, law enforcement, and other public safety personnel, as well as shelter in place presentations to community groups, businesses, schools, and the general public as a means of increasing safety in the event of a release. And whereas citizens need to know that emergency responders, emergency management, and all levels of government, schools, and businesses are working together to ensure that our communities are as prepared as possible to protect all citizens from both accidental and deliberate releases of hazardous materials. Now, therefore, be it resolved that we, the Board of County Commissioners of Santa Rosa County, hereby proclaim February the 15th through the 21st, 2015, as Hazardous Material Awareness Week throughout the county to heighten public recognition of efforts to safeguard the community from hazardous materials and to acknowledge the unique public participation component of the program. Passed and adopted by the Board of County Commissioners this 12th day of February 2015. I have the privilege of signing for our board, Chairman Don Salter. Steve, thank you for everything y'all do. Comments, please. Sir. Would you like to make some comments? I just, I just appreciate y'all signing the proclamation. Um, next week, like next week is Hazard Material Week. If um, we're gonna try to get into schools, we're gonna be putting out press releases um, thank you. Steve and his group sometimes and other groups as well, kind of like an insurance policy. We don't pay a lot of attention to it until the disaster happens and we all want to know where's the insurance policy, what was the coverage. I know not long ago we had a train derailment up in the um, East Milton area. Uh, there are times like that that we really appreciate Steve and, and his staff and all of our volunteers. So Steve, y'all do a great job and uh, we have a lot of confidence in what you do. Thank you. You want to have your picture made with us? Sure. You come over here, Steve. Get underneath the little which one gets the uncomfortable chair because they all are That's Mr. Right. Lynchard. Yeah. Okay, we have two presentations this morning. The first is Public Services Employee of the Year 2014, Mr. Gomillion. Yes, Mr. Chairman. Thank you for this opportunity. We always look forward to uh, being able to recognize our employees once a year, and uh, obviously they're recognized uh, throughout the year and selected, but uh, we get this opportunity once a year to, to come before the board and, and recognize the employee of the year this year for 2014. We have three candidates this year. I'll uh, introduce those in the order they were selected during the year. I just ask them as I introduce them to stand, and then they, they can be reseated. Uh, our first uh, would be Tambry Lee. Uh, Tambry uh, began her career with the county in 1998 as a fire life safety inspector, has uh, continued to work in that department uh, throughout her career. 
uh, in recent years, uh, as we began the uh, project management approach in our development services office, she accepted and has worked in a role uh, assisting with project management on our commercial projects. And as a matter of fact, within the last week, uh, Tambry has been promoted to our commercial review supervisor. So we're proud to announce that as well. She'll take on a larger role in that department. Uh, Tambury is one of those that uh, is uh, willing to do what's needed to help the team get the job done. She's a can-do type employee, and she's just a real asset to our public services department. Thank you, Tambury. Our second candidate is Leanne Major. Leanne began her career in 2012 with Development Services Department. Uh, I believe she actually had worked for us part-time after the hurricane uh, Ivan uh, temporarily, and uh, so she, she had had some familiarity with our report department before 2012. But she is an administrative assistant in our Development Services Department. She primarily works uh, in Becky and Rhonda's office, uh, assisting with the management and the record keeping for, for those departmental functions. Uh, Leanne is uh, an employee that just kind of brings a very pleasant, warm personality to our department. She kind of warms it up for, for all of us and uh, uh, gives an encouragement. Uh, she's a very positive employee that, and, and has a very strong work ethic. She just brings that to, to our department, to the Development Services Department, and she's just a real great asset for, for public services. I think I got it close. It, I can't even pronounce my own last name sometimes. So I, you know. But uh, Tara has worked with animal services since 2001 in, uh, in our kennel and in our adoption center. Uh, Tara is just a tireless worker and promoter of our, our animals and the needs of our animals in our county, uh, that we, particularly those we have available for adoption. Uh, we find, and Tara's a, a, a prime example of that, the folks that are in the animal services department really have a heart. You have to have a heart for the type of work that they do. And, and so she is a, a real poster child for that, that uh, interest and effort. And uh, she volunteers a lot of her own time in these efforts, uh, puts in a lot of hours uh, trying to help, help animals and to uh, uh, encourage others to do the same. Uh, Tara's just a, just a true asset and a, and a blessing to our public services department. Thank you, Tara. And so with that, uh, we only have one, one selection available. And this year for 2014, our employee of the year is Tambry Lee. And uh, I will, uh, I'll get a picture with Tambry and then we'll uh, let you get a picture with the board. 